Hello, I am Kasa Shiva here, Jackie, and welcome back to a new episode of my my hometown low league management save here with running uh, Salem football. And yeah, we are back here. Uh, there was those two, I believe. Yeah, we won against Umi Dalen. Uh, Jonathan Eriksson still scoring a lot of goals here, so very lovely. We are second in the table right now, so I hope we can keep this up. I'm not sure that we're going to go before um, Umeå Academy uh, because you see that we lost against them. We won though. Alfredo Matu Nordman scoring a goal here. <clears throat> I'm trying to give him more and more game time because he's actually been pretty decent when he got in the chance here. He gets two chances there though. And then we have penalty here from uh, Lagerlöf Lekström. And then lastly we have a corner goal from Billborn there. 3 nil here, Jonathan Eriksson, uh, Max Lagerlöf Lekström again. Unfortunately, we lost at home against Umeå FC Academy. Uh, yeah, we created a way more chance. It was a fairly close game. Unfortunately, we got the red card there and could not come back against Osa. We have done some anti type uh, We've done some actual um, transfers here. So we got in two or three players. It's a left winger here we got in score the goals there for us uh, under Holmquist scoring a hat-trick and then Max Lagerlöf Lekström scoring there as well and then unfortunately against Tama Apua uh, we lost here 2-0 did not really create that many chances so let's just go and transfer first and then let's then I will show you the players we got in on in the youth intake. So Anti Taipale uh, has played for Ulv Åker in Division 4. He is Finnish and Swedish, but training in Sweden. So yeah, left winger. So we have at least someone there. Could be good. Uh, five star potential. We have Sasso Konstantinov. I was interested in him before. He's also just as a Danish player trained at Isbjerg. He's North Macedonia, but since he has dual nationality, we can get him in here. So he's been pretty decent here recently. And then the youth intake, uh, well wasn't that great that was as I was hoping for it was a little bit of a disappointment but well let's go through it uh, Johan Olsson is probably the best one he is a central defender as you can see six and eight and stuff he has one star here though if he gets up to one and a half star I guess we could compare him because Alcaron getting worse and worse there can we, why can't I, they playing on the same positions, why can't I compare them? There we go, he's all, maybe, or no, we can't, can't get them up right, I realize that no, we can't get them up because he is uh, non, uh, or, I we can't register it any place, that's just it. Um, is he new? Oh well, I think I'm just going to go here, even if we might show some of the players which isn't new. I don't know elsewhere to really... Oh no. Youth. So I'm just going to skip everyone that we didn't sign. Carl Pettersson. Good first touch, good free kicks. Terrible <laughs> finishing though. Good crossing and good corner taking. A really good speed, but yeah. Compulsory. I mean, some of the mentors are really good, some of the mentors are really bad, but still 16. I've signed most of these, this, that is 16. Kim uh, Lundmark is 17, though, but I thought he looked decent. Is he better than him? So then maybe we should bring up these two ones. Worth mentally, aerially, 
technically about the same. It's better attacking, better vision, better, yeah, about the same at least. And he's five star, and Lundmark has also five star, and he's fairly ambitious, so that's pretty lovely as well. He has 17, four star potential central midfielder. I guess we could compare him with Johan Olsson. Uh, good free kicks, good technique. A little bit worse off, but I guess he's more better pace. He's more technical, this player. Free kicks there, but yeah, again, as you see, it's a little bit all around there. Uh, Johan Olsson, you saw him, we did not get in. We did not get in, not him either. We got in this Norwegian. I wasn't sure about him, but <laughs> some decent stats 6, 7, 8, and position 7. Maybe some decent mentals. And he's only 16, so I decided to go for him. I'm not sure that he's going to develop that much, but I was just, oh well, let's just. We got. How could Sven <laughs> or something like that? Well, he was also one of these I was not sure about, but decent technical stats at least. Could have been way worse. Mentally, physically, not really that great, but he's 16. So, you one also was actually better than I thought. And Kim Lundmark might actually be good enough to even get up. Comparison, I just like to compare. Not that bad. Better defensively, so maybe some players that we should get up next season. I do usually, maybe the, all of these three. I'm not. I actually seen that Christopher Eriksson is better than Sigimo, so maybe. I don't know. Uh, he's five star though. I'm not sure about all the star rate. This is four and a half. See, we have some players. We have a lot of bright backs, but. Again, I'm not sure in none of those. We have so many others. Guess we could compare with like Christopher Nielsen here, for example, because he is a little bit older, five five. Okay, way better on some, but not not that much. And maybe we should get assessment or changes will be done. Uh, but yeah, Ali Murse as well. Unfortunately, it seems like his potential isn't going down there. Uh, so I'm not sure. He says he could be good though. Noreen, I think he's one of the youngsters. As you see, no one. I would love to have a <coughs> trainer that was actually pretty decent. Um, I want to give him game time to develop. Since I've been so excited for him. Still though, a Division 3 player, so... Can't, and they fairly determined, there must be something good at least. Unfortunately, it's slow, it says. But I don't think it's that slow, to be fair. It's more that it's lacking strength. Like, so he he's going up, he's only 19, so he probably can be even better. Already on second division standard. I'm really happy now <laughs> got him in, because again, all of this is some non contract. He has a little bit higher. Unfortunately, crossing not that great, but physically really good. Gerrit Nissen. Holmquist, I really hope. But unfortunately, he doesn't want to sign the new contract. It might be that he's going to leave after the season, which would suck, but it might be just what is going to happen. Log lovely extra, as you can see, is really developing well. He's. Uh, unfortunately, Bukalin is still better, but I think he's going to soon be. Yes, we could. All the comparisons, maybe I should co call this episode just comparisons. Uh, so he's. They are totally different players, to be fair. He's more of a, uh, attacking. It's better defensively, I guess, because he's all around 6 and 5 there. Nine, he's better mentally though, and better physically, but he's better technically. Halil, I'm not. Sh the, the unfortunate thing is, a lot of my players have potential for more, and he's not per se bad. Still says it's not going to get better, so I think we might get rid of Militich. 
spin air long. Alkeron, we might get rid of him. His physical's not lacking and <laughs> not really good enough. Vestalund has not even played that great this season, so I think we're going to get rid of him. So, that's, so yeah, Yellowvar, uh, Malmberg is here. <laughs> Eriks Nivas club. <laughs> And I believe they are fifth in the table or whatever, so it's definitely not the easy match this go before them. But uh, we, as you can see, two points. We have to watch out for Valk Sala there, but else we should at least get the playoff. I don't know how the playoff works. If we meet the tenth team in Division Two, then it might be tougher. But if we meet another Division Three team, I feel like we can do it. But yeah, I'm not I'm not overly confident still. It would definitely be interesting next season. I feel like interesting as well if our I don't think our economic situation is going to change. It might even get worse worse because I think we might need to become professional if we go up to vision two. Home quiz scores oh man, that's almost a goalkeeping error. Um Ericsson with the assist there, lovely assist he is. It's been very <laughs> outbursting here, now he actually does assist, but usually he scores a lot of goals. Well, so six, is it, it isn't impossible, but it's still Holmquist, oh, wins a penalty, that's not too bad. And he scores. Seven gold. He's really <laughs> someone is the young player of the season. I feel like that. I don't know how old he is, but he's probably not 20. I feel like he deserves it because he's gone in the third, first team and actually been really good. So is there anyone that's been like way off? <sighs> I don't really know. Anan? Um. Ah, I'm going to go with the same lineup. 2 0. Seems solid. Oh, I don't want to get that up. Got some freaking commercial thing up on the internet there. Yeah, he did not really take his chance here. But well, I guess it's good as well to get some of these players going still. Um, I don't want to get Log Love out right now though. To type I I want to give him more game time though. Now was on for Umish maybe. Umish has not really been impressive, but I guess it's good as well to keep everyone going here. I mean, it was good in the match when he scored, but after that, not really that impressive. We saw Lundmark, and he seemed almost better because sometimes the star rating is kind of false or whatever to say because it's like especially with the one also and we saw Iggy one son has I guess we could see him as well he was one of got up and I'm not sure to see as good right now five six okay it's way better actually well that's interesting we're actually getting better and better youth players if we do bring in too many youngsters that we will kind of have problem and consider the goal here and they will be back in the back. I must say Anan <laughs> gone right into the team from he's been 16 or 17 and he's stayed there forever since. There are some right backs that are good but no one is like... I, I'm... I believe it was four star when he went right up here to the first team, so it was like, well, no, none of your other are going to get the chance because you have like one and a half star. And comparing, I feel like it's probably like 20, no, it's 19 even. Marking, I mean, five, 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 five. That his physical and his mentals are really good. But I think it's just all around But I guess we could check with someone else. Some other right back. It might be like, I'm going to just see who we have in the youth team, the more person. Tensionably, was in with 
But I guess I shouldn't be that disappointed point since we got one also and it looks very good. Okay, let's see here. Uh, who we had here is the right back. He's the best, I say. We could compare with him as well. He is even better, so maybe we should. He's just in youth to me. I'm not sure really. Adnan. And you see, he's way worse. I guess we can see with some other, like. Alejandro, Alejandro seems to develop a lot of me. Well, it's better physically and better aerially, but elsewhere it's. He has some stats that is better, but it's still 5. His mentals, he's better possession now, teamwork and work rate. Right? This is the thing he still says, this is just one star. I don't <laughs> to be fair, you shouldn't really trust the stars that much. It seems like, even with this, consider it doesn't seem like with these two players. He actually almost seems about the same. Jakob Pet Peterson, he's gotten some game time actually. Because he's at least not going to play, so <laughs> he's been a lot in and out though, person. I guess we could see his registered. Might be some. He, I don't think he's going to be registered though. As you can see, he's, I guess, fiscally, but I guess we could see who is registratable. <laughs> registratable. <laughs> That's a word of it. So Engelbrekson, we could get up. <clears throat> I don't see who else speaking. But I might <laughs> get rid of him. As you can see, that this is the issue. We have so many players, I'm not sure. And Mikael Nuri got some game time, but I'm not sure he's not developing his free stars as well. Too. Probably. I mean, some of the stats is decent. They're not bad, but the question is, is they going to be good enough for... Is that right? He's from... <laughs> what? More of a central defender, almost. Mm. I guess we could see who is outside of the various on... I don't know. He might actually... Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Positioning. He's also really slow. It's like we have a lot of slow central <laughs> defenders, sadly. Uh, oh, I jumped out of there, sadly. So it seems like Engelbrechtson is probably the best one. And. Oh, we have. I did not know. We might actually bring him up because I thought he wasn't registered. I guess it's just this new youth and take that it's not registered. I guess we'll see, might play them in some of these matches, even if they're not match fit, really. And difficult <laughs> to decide for him. It's good, but uh, <laughs> see, it's even worse. <laughs> Defensively, it's, it's almost have too many players, and everyone have some small potential, so it's really like, how do we do here? I don't know. <laughs> it's not developing that much, but to be fair, don't have any backup really, so am I? I'm going to just move some of this player up. <laughs> I'm not sure that they're going to play that much, but they can at least, they at least registrate some. But we might give them some game time again, because I don't know how, which clubs we meet, but we'll probably meet at least some clubs. Uh, the small away, or is it just... <laughs> oh man. Yeah, this might not be the case. Okay, Uddes, uh, the small is the only club that we can meet that would be a lower down club. So maybe there we go for a little bit of rotation. But I mean, Sigimor did not impress me. So maybe Ericsson could be better. Just Aerial is terrible. <laughs> okay, last comparison here. I just want to see. I think if I wasn't... Five, so way worse in mentals, better in, oh no, way worse in technicals. But he has better reflexes. 
And I mean, uh, communication is also a special a leadership determination. I would say in the physical, it's almost the same, but it's a little bit. Okay, pace is not good, and strength is not. But he's still a 17, so maybe. And he's, they have about the same potential as well, so maybe they two will fight. It's obviously the best one. But anyway, I'm just ramble on for way too long, so think of watching. Have a good tea and a good coffee day, and I'll see you soon again, so bye!